create a new standard, it takes something that's not just a little bit different. It takes something that's really new. I think one of the things that really separates us from the high primates is that we're tool builders. And that's what a computer is to me. It's the most remarkable tool that we've ever come up with. It's the equivalent of a bicycle for our minds. Cloud can be a place where we can discover beautiful things. Thoreau said you're rich in proportion to what you can afford to let alone. You know, we, th th there's things we don't need to know. It's other people's job to handle them. Ultimately, we're building out the equivalent of a global brain, you know, where all of the computers in the world, all the networks in the world are connected. We take the grid, we take electricity for granted, we take the infrastructure that it should just be there, and so should computing. We want lots of innovation in the cloud and open source and open standards give us that possibility. Technology free markets tend to produce more innovation uh, because people can do things that everybody else thinks are crazy uh, that turn out not to be crazy at all. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Launch connect, lift off. 60 years ago, Thomas Watson of IBM is reported to have said that he saw a need for no more than five computers worldwide. A dozen years ago, people said that only a few companies would need Google-scale computing infrastructure. We now know that they were all wrong. I believe that democratizing large-scale computing could lead to the kind of game-changing advances in physics, chemistry, material sciences, and other fields History is a wave that moves through time slightly faster than we do. And we feel like we're up to date with technology and then something wakes us up. Hi guys, welcome to OzCon 2011 in Portland. I'm Chris Kemp, the founder and CEO of Nebula. Um, about a year ago today, uh, Lou Mormon, the president of Rackspace, and I launched the OpenStack project. And I'm incredibly excited by all of the involvement that we've gotten from developers across the world, from companies across the world. We have over 1,000 developers, almost 100 companies participating in the project. And so today, I'm excited to be on the same stage launching Nebula, uh, the project uh, at NASA. Uh, that actually kicked off some of the original work that was open source, that was the core of the first release of the OpenStack initiative. Nebula will deliver OpenStack to the enterprise in a big way. We will drive open source standards, open source hardware, and open source software in the enterprise. I believe like no company uh, has or will, uh, we will democratize web scale computing. Um, we are here today to deliver the web scale cloud computing infrastructure that's been enjoyed by a small number of elite internet companies to every business in America to truly democratize web scale computing. Our goal is no less than to ignite a new era in global innovation by taking the same technology that internet companies have enjoyed and the economics that internet companies have enjoyed in their data centers and bring that to any company and what I'd like to talk to you about today is how we're going to do that, because that, that sounds kind of crazy. Um, and I'm going to talk about it today here at OzCon because I need your help. We're going to do it by standing on the shoulders of giants, and I'm going to introduce you to some of those giants today. We're going to do it by taking OpenStack and the Open Compute Project and build a new class of computing device, a cloud controller. And I believe that the combination of OpenStack and Open Compute form a new nexus of disruption that could change the computer industry for decades to come, but only with your help, only if we have the kind of innovation in OpenStack that we saw in Unix and, and Berkeley distributions in the 1980s, because the giants that we're standing on are very similar to the giants that HP and Sun and DEC we're standing on in the early 1980s as companies built entire empires on the BSD distribution of Unix. But this time, it will not be proprietary. This time, we will not fork OpenStack. This time, the hardware and the software will be open. And what I would like to do is I'd like to invite two folks up here who can talk a little bit more about the, the platforms 
upon which we will build this company. I'm going to uh, bring Frank Frankowski, the head of the Open Compute Project, Facebook, and uh, also uh, Jim Curry, the head of the OpenStack Project over at Rackspace, to tell you a little bit more about these platforms. Frank, Jim, Jim. So, uh, happy birthday. So it's been a year. How many people in this room have been involved with OpenStack in some way? Good, thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, and we need to get a lot more of you guys involved. So hopefully this week will be an opportunity to learn about what we're doing. So, you know, look, a year ago, we thought the world uh, needed an open cloud operating system. You know, something that we could build public and private clouds on to build a standard uh, for uh, the future of, of cloud. Um, we didn't think it existed. So we launched, uh, we launched OpenStack. And at the time, we didn't know how the world felt about this. We didn't know if there would be a strong interest in it. I think it's safe to say now, a year into it, we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of interest. So as Chris said, you know, we've now gone from two particip participating organizations, NASA and Rackspace, to nearly 100. You know, companies that are contributing real code and real effort to, to developing the project. Um, we have got, um, gone into hundreds of de uh, developers and users um, and documentation experts who are really helping to drive the project forward. So we're seeing a heck of a lot of interest. Um, in the last couple of months, we've seen a real explosion in the effort of companies to help build commercial solutions to take to enterprises and service providers, things like Nebula, which are really interesting uh, for the development of the project. Obviously, for enterprises, having means for consuming OpenStack is extremely important. And so we're excited to see Chris and team uh, launch Nebula. Chris was one of the founders of, uh, of OpenStack. Uh, he was involved uh, from the very beginning. Uh, he had uh, the vision to help uh, NASA build their own cloud and saw the world as we did, that we needed an, an open platform to build on top of. So we're excited to see what he, uh, what he and the team do with the, with the company. I think what's also very exciting about this is um, uh, not only are they trying to, to solve the, the problem of building an open cloud operating system and helping to bring that to market, they're tackling the, the problem of also, how do, you, how do you open up the hardware layer? How do you make that more accessible? And so Frank and team have done a lot of work around open compute. And so Frank, talk a little about that. Yeah, thanks. Well, at, at the risk of having no hands go up, how many of you are familiar with open compute? Oh, awesome. Well, we need more. Um, so you know, open compute is a rapidly growing community of hardware engineers who are really passionate about um, highly efficient and cost-effective um, computing. So we had our first summit uh, a few weeks ago. We had about 250 attendees. We're really excited about not only the end user community that's coming together, but also the suppliers who need to come together to make open computing uh, a reality. Because obviously, we're trying to apply the best practices from open source software to accelerate innovation around open hardware. Um, but at the end of the day, you also have to have it produced and, and make something tangible. So we're really excited about the momentum that, that the community is building right now, but, but definitely could always use more. And hopefully, we'll have more exciting announcements coming up in the next uh, few weeks and few months uh, to come. So. Uh, we're also really excited about what Chris and the Nebula team are doing because this brings that, that highly efficient computing power um, to the mass market um, through what Nebula is, is doing. It, it's going to create a distribution channel so everybody has access to it and also a way to support um, the product as well. So we're excited about it. Congratulations to you guys. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Jim. Um, we're looking forward to working with these guys. And I really want to encourage you guys to uh, check out the Open Compute site, where you can download all the specs from all the motherboards and hardware, even the data centers, and OpenStack, and uh, check out the code. Um, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult than just taking uh, OpenStack and Open Compute and gluing them together. There's actually a lot of engineering here. There's a lot of hard work. So um, we're at, we've actually brought together an incredible team of entrepreneurs and executives from companies across the world. We're actually going to see those folks here in a second. But uh, what I thought we could do is, uh, rather than just talk about it, I thought we could actually come over here and uh, uh, Drag this forward here. Let's, yeah. You guys may. Get, oh, it's really heavy. It's like 3,000 pounds. Oh. Uh. There we go. Uh. Okay, enough of that. There's a real electric hydro, uh, lift here. So, what you're looking at here is <laughs> it's just sliding under the momentum there. What you're looking at here is a triple rack of open compute project servers. And uh, at the very top of the rack, which you'll see in a second when we get the lights on, are three Nebula compute controller appliances powering up. And 
our vision is that one of these appliances can power up to 25 commodity servers. Uh, so you'll be able to plug in the cheapest servers that you can buy. Uh, they'll be automatically recognized, profiled, and turned into an elastic compute cloud automatically. You don't even have to turn the power buttons on. So this really makes it possible for an enterprise with no, <laughs> no computing experience, no engineering experience, no consulting team to just buy cheap hardware and put it together and have a standards-based elastic compute cloud. So we're really excited about kind of what this does to the economics of the industry. So what I'd like to do for a quick second <clears throat> is I'd like to talk a little bit more about the scale in which we could see this. So um, you don't just buy one of these boxes. Uh, you can buy N of these boxes. And based on a 10 gigabit Ethernet fabric, uh, our first investor is actually Andy Bechtelsheim, so he's, he knows a few things about networks. Um, we're able to um, bring together a large number of these top-of-rack top of appliances to scale out an, an elastic compute and storage cloud. And we do this by building on OpenStack and by extending OpenStack's features, enhancing OpenStack so that it's more, quote-unquote, enterprise-friendly. So as you drop it in your environment behind your firewall, you don't have to worry about integration with your CMDB tools, integration with your security tools, your IDSs, um, your monitoring tools, your management tools. Um, we're going to focus on working with HP and Dell to get OpenView, Atrium. Uh, all the integration points will be plug and play so that you'll be able to drop this in with minimal disruption <laughs> to your IT staff. Maybe a lot more disruption to the industry, but a little bit of disruption to the IT staff is our, our goal here. So uh, what this appliance really does is it provides a way to automatically provision a private cloud with literally no, no other work than stacking a server and plugging it in. In fact, you can, you'll, you'll be able to buy a, a unit just like this that will be highly available. <clears throat> we'll have uh, enterprise class end user accounting and management tools. Uh, so one of the folks we brought over was responsible for a lot of the front end of the Amazon Web Services. And we're going to be in integrating a pluggable UI that's, that's designed to be integrated into enterprise dashboards. So in, a, in an ideal implementation, we would introduce zero new management domains to put this in an enterprise IT environment. You'd be able to plug right into it with your existing tools and processes. Um, and this is uh, actually going to be rolled out uh, this fall to uh, about six pilot customers in energy, uh, finance, uh, media, and biotech. And the next thing you'll hear us talking about is what they're doing on this platform. And we're really excited to see people take OpenStack. And we're really excited to see people take OpenStack, deliver it on this platform, and do exciting things with it. And that's really what is exciting to me about this opportunity, because it's taking what NASA and a small number of elite technology companies have taken for granted, and it's giving it to middle America. It's giving it to uh, manufacturing companies. It's giving it to companies who can't attract the talent that's out at Twitter and Facebook and Google and Microsoft. And you know, when I, when I left NASA, there's a lot of really smart people at NASA, but an increasing number of them were getting hired by these companies. And I thought about all the really smart people I know, and a lot of them work for these internet companies. And they build infrastructures so that we can get little tweets <laughs> and, and better ads. And you know, how does that help our country? You know, what would happen in biotech, for example, as we start to see gigabases of gene sequences coming out of these next generation sequencers, as we, start to, as we start to think about how every industry in our country could be reinvented if we could just make this technology plug and play accessible behind the firewall. It's very exciting. So what I'd like to do uh, right now is I'd like to talk about how um, we're going to do this, and I'd, I'd like to actually invite some folks who are here in the audience to take off their cloaks. Um, you know, we, we intend, the, the folks you're about to see here, come on, guys, intend to make sure the next generation of computing is open and not closed. We see a, a, a point in history where the future will either be open or closed. As Devin Carlin, co-founder, Steve O'Hara, co-founder, we intend to democratize web scale computing. We intend to make open source hardware the norm. We want to bring open source hardware to this community in partnership with the Open Compute Project. We do not want to repeat the past. We want to see the next 25 years of computing be filled with open standards. And we intend to change the world again. And we need your help. So please join the OpenStack, Open Compute Projects. Um, if you want to get a, a private cloud deployed in a few minutes, um, 
we'll be doing that later this year. So thanks again. Enjoy the show. And what we'd like to do is have you guys join us if you have more questions. We've got a panel. We have deep, deep dives into our product, engineering, security architecture at our booth, um, which will be unveiled here in a few minutes. We've got a website at nebula.com. Uh, we have an incredible launch event this evening at 9 o'clock featuring Amon Tobin, uh, DJ Simos, the March 4th marching band, uh, which uh, OpenStack and Open Compute help sponsor. Um, we're um, just really excited to begin the dialogue with you guys and to have you join this revolution in computing. Let's, let's make the world open. Thanks, guys. <laughs>